I'm over caffeinated and underfed. Yeah, I just know we're cooking. And it's gonna be good. Welcome to my channel. My name is Reina. I'm a registered nurse and stay-at-home mom of two and this channel is all about what I eat on high-fat, meat-heavy keto, otherwise called ketobore. If I look or sound a little off today, it's because the kids and I are getting over some bug. I'm not really sure what it, what it is. Um, <clears throat> some virus though, for sure. Snottiness, congestion, body aches, fever all the things so we're getting over it um thank goodness we're kind of at the end of it in fact that's why um i canceled the live that i was going to do yesterday sunday today's monday um i was going to do a food eating challenge <laughs> with someone and it, it was canceled because of how sick i was i definitely could not have done it yesterday i could probably do it today but yesterday i was out for the count. I slept, thank God it was the weekend and Freddie was able to take care of the kids for a while in the morning while I knocked out because I couldn't sleep all night. And so he took care of them in the morning while I slept in a little bit. This is the first day in weeks that it has not been 100 degrees outside. It's in the 80s, it's like 81. No, it's 77 right now. The highest is 81. So. It's a beautiful day. We're gonna go um, take advantage of it. I'm gonna go take the kids to the park. Our library has a small park outside. So we're gonna go to the park, then go inside, return some books and probably get a few more. I know I'm gonna do something with chicken for dinner, um, but as for what exactly I'm gonna do with the chicken, I have some chicken thighs. Um, that are thawed out, but as for what I'm gonna do with the chicken thighs, I don't know. I don't want to add vegetables, but Freddie like freaking loves vegetables. He insists on me using vegetables, so I might add some. But um, other other than that, I, I don't know what I'm doing today. I just know we're cooking and it's gonna be good. Oh, Tiago and I are literally just sitting around waiting for Sophia to wake up. She's going on She's going on three hours of napping. <laughs> She's making up for a couple of sleepless nights that she had um, a few days ago. And I don't blame her. She, she did not sleep well. I wish I could make up my sleep. That's okay. Yeah, so while I'm sitting here waiting for Sophia to wake up, I wanted to ask you guys something. And I think it's a little controversial. Which is strange. Um, it shouldn't be controversial. It should be a universal thing that everyone agrees on. Okay, my lord, let me get him waffle with blueberries. All right, so the controversial question is, is anyone else excited, as excited as I am for fall? <laughs> Some people are like, no, too soon. Get away from me. <laughs> but some people are like, yeah. So tell me what boat you're in. Are you like in the middle, like, sure, let's just wait till September? Or are some people like, no, I've been thinking fall all year. Um, or some people are like, no, stop, stop it. Stop romanticizing fall. Tell me what boat you're in. I think I'm somewhere in, in the middle, leaning more towards the, the crazy for fall boat. Um, but I think it's for good reason, okay? I was, I've been thinking about this because I, I, you know, I just think that it's, it's not for no reason. It's not just like, oh, pumpkin spice, blah, 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 and all the pretty decor. I don't think it's just that. Yes, that adds to it. And I have some pumpkin spice recipes and, and video recipes that I'm like already thinking up in my brain. So yes, there will be a lot of that or some of that, not a lot. 
but it's more than that. I think that when you're a mom, and yes, I'm gonna put everything on just being a mom because like changes happen when you become a mom. Exactly what I was talking about a few minutes ago is that I can't go anywhere with my kids if there is an extreme in temperature. Like if it's too cold outside, no one wants to be out in the cold for too long outside. Um, and if it's, but it's too hot, then you can't exactly take all your clothes off. So these transitional seasons are my favorite and I think any mom's favorite because you can be outside with your kids, especially with babies. Like Tiago can probably take a little bit more heat, a little bit more cold than Sophia can at her age, 10 month old. So I just put Sophia down to sleep and as I, I was putting her down for a nap, I was realizing that it's three o'clock, it's past three o'clock at this point and I haven't eaten anything. Um, I thought I had eaten something, but it just, I haven't. I think I took a bite of their, their bacon, their snack bacon that I took to the park with us, a bite and that's it. So all I've had is the iced coffee that I showed you guys, and it was actually a double, double espresso. <laughs> so there was four shots of espresso in there. And then before that, I had actually had a little bit of just regular coffee that my husband made before he went to work. <coughs> so I'm over caffeinated and underfed. Um, <laughs> I realized that I need to get some electrolytes in at least. So I got me some electrolytes. I'm going to have... I'm really not hungry. Like my appetite just is not, it's just not there. Do you like Sophia's bow? When she takes it off, I just like put it around my, my arm. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna have a couple of hard boiled eggs from yesterday. And that's probably gonna be it for my first meal. For my second meal, I've been thinking about what I'm gonna do with these chicken thighs and um, I have two, three pounds, close to four pounds of chicken thighs thawed out. What actually has bone in, but I'm probably sadly going to have to remove that because I have um, a recipe. It's not my recipe, so I'm going to link it below for you guys. It's someone else's recipe. Um, but it's, it's a kind of a Mexican casserole dish. And I love it. It's super easy. The kids really like it. Um, it has more vegetables than I would like. But again, the kids love it. So does Freddie. Um, we've had beef for several days now. And um, I think it's just it's time to have a little bit of chicken. So that's what we're going to have. I probably won't have too much of it later today. I might just have a little bit and a couple more hard boiled eggs for my second meal but i'm going to link it below you can go look at the recipe and follow the recipe on the website or you can just follow along with me 
and I'll show you guys what goes in it. It's very easy. Um, this is like a ketovore recipe. Um, but every time that there's a keto or ketovore recipe, I always try to like double up on the protein and or the fat and half the or almost half the vegetables, the carbs. Um, so that, you know, I can just get a little bit more fat and protein in there for the whole family. So yeah, I'm going to have a couple of eggs, my electrolytes, and then, and then we'll get cooking.